Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today's video is just going to be a very casual sit down video. I'm going to share with you some new decor pieces that I have picked up recently as well as some new um, clothing items that I've gotten in the mail. They came in around the time that I decided I want to film this video so I thought I would just put it in this video as well and share with you um, some of my favorite types of clothes to wear. This particular brand is one of my favorites and I got a few new tops in so I just Thought I would put it in this video as well and we'll just title this um, new summer items or something like that. Um, I hope that you're all having a really good summer. Ours is going by fast as it always does and it has been extremely hot here in Alabama as I know it has in many other states as well and today was one of those days that I was just we're just going to embrace the natural waviness um, curl of my hair. I'm not going to fight it today so it's a little wild but we're going to share this video anyways. Um, so the first uh, things that I want to share with you I actually got from Dirt Cheap. Uh, my local Dirt Cheap has um, like these different bins and each day of the week they do different sales on them. Wednesday's the best day. You can get 10 items for a dollar. I have never had luck. Anytime I've ever gone on Wednesday, they're all picked over or actually even completely gone. Um, but I actually went on a Tuesday and on Tuesday you can get four items for a dollar out of these particular bins. And usually I haven't really been able to find things in the bins or you know, they just weren't what I thought worth spending any money on. But I actually got several things and almost every single one of them has a sticker on it that shows that it originally came from the Target dollar spot. So I picked up nine items the day that I went and my total was $2.48, which is just crazy because one of these items alone would be at least $3 or $5 in the Target dollar spot. So I got all nine of these for um, like I said, $2.48. So I was really glad that I decided to go and all of them came from those bins except one item and the lady rang it up like it, the, it was the same price as these. And I told her, I said, well, I actually found that on the shelf. I think it's about $4. Um, but she gave it to me for the price that the things in the bins were. So I thought that was really nice. So I was glad that I decided to go that day. Uh, me and Rowdy were actually just in town wasting some time before we had to be somewhere else. Um, so I was glad that I went because it was a successful day. So I'm going to start with those items first. And two or three of the items that I got, I'm actually planning to um, put up for fall time. And the one thing for Christmas. So I'm going to share those with you first and kind of tell you my um, idea on what I'm thinking for them. But the first thing I actually um, didn't pick up last year when I saw it in the Target dollar spot because I was like, I really don't need another sign. But I thought it was so cute. Well, they had it in here. So I was like, okay, for 25 cents, I'm going to pick it up. So it says fresh pressed apple cider served daily. And I am planning to use this when I decorate for fall time, which will be soon. It's crazy how fast this year is going by. Um, but it still has the original sticker on it. So this was $3 um, or would be, you know, if you bought it in the Target dollar spot. So I was excited to pick it up. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't have any scratches or blemishes on it or anything. So that was the first thing. And then the next thing I got that I was um, thinking fall in my mind was this. This was actually um, the one that was on the another aisle that was $4, but the um, the lady checking me out gave it to me for the same price as all these other things. So I thought that was really nice. But it came from Target as well. And it says threshold, I think. It's kind of covered up, but I think that's what it says. But it's this pretty plum color. And I really like to decorate with this color at fall time. Um, and it's just this vase. I don't know if I will put fall foliage or florals in here is what I'm thinking um, but I just thought it was really pretty and it has this pretty um, white thing it's like a ceramic vase so that was the second thing I got and this next thing I could use it at any time but I was thinking Christmas when I saw it I don't know something about it just reminded me of or made me think of Christmas so it's this little galvanized um planter or vase. I'm not really sure exactly, but it's from the Threshold brand as well and it's still taped up, but I thought this would be cute with some like red ornaments in it or like red berries or something like that. I decorate with a lot of red and galvanized things at Christmas time. Very farmhouse just to go, you know, along with my style. So that was my um, thought whenever I saw this to use it at Christmas time. So those are the things that I picked up that were, um, you know, seasonal decor. This actually 
I'll de know that I will definitely use it at Easter, but I actually think that I might use it all the time because um, eggs are very farmhousey, obviously. Um, but this is it. It's so cute. I actually have almost bought this in the Target dollar spot. I think it was last year. Um, but I got this white one and it is a little chipped right there. But I think I'm going to put some um, plastic eggs in here and display it with my Ray Dunn items and my hutch. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but if not, I can always put it up and use it at, at Easter time. Um, there is one item that I purchased I don't have with me. It was just like this, but it was green. It had little rope handles. I picked that up from my grandmother because I thought that it would go with her decor and things that she uses at Easter time. So I already gave that to her, but that is another item I picked up. It's just like this, but it was green. So that's my next item. The next thing that I got was just a pack of taper candles. I use these a lot um, in all the different taper candle holders I have around my home, and I have not found them cheaper than like a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. I picked up some from the Dollar Tree not long ago, uh, but these were twenty-five cents. So I decided to go ahead and get those. I almost wish I would have went ahead and got two packs of these, um, but I only picked up one. So you can definitely find somewhere to use those. I also picked up a little basket like I needed another one, but this was kind of different and I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it yet, um, but it was originally $5. I think I might put like my bobby pins or hair ties, something like that in here underneath my sink or just use it in my bathroom drawer somewhere just to, you know, put something in here to keep it all in one place instead of it being scattered. So I thought that was cute and I like the little tassel on it. I can definitely find somewhere to use that. And then the next two things that I got are um, little chickens. I thought they were so cute. This is the first one. And it was $5 originally. But it's just this pretty wicker material. And it has the little red right there. So my plan is to put this um, either on top of my hutch. That's what I want to try to do with it because I have a few um, little roosters up there and a little rooster sign that I'm about to put up. So I want to try to find a place for this. So that's the first one I got. And then this next one, it actually says it's an egg holder. So, you know, when it came Easter time, I could fill it up with eggs if I wanted to, but I'm planning to try to put these together, maybe kind of layer them. I have to play around with it, but that's kind of my thought process right now. So I'll see whenever I start decorating. I want to do a whole, um, kitchen decorate, refresh with me, and change out some things on top of my hutch and move some things around. So I'm going to be using these. So those are the things that I got from Dirt Cheap. Thought it was a, a really good haul for less than $3. It's probably the most that I've bought in one time there. And I thought it was a really good haul. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, I think we're just gonna keep going through the home decor before I share with you the tops. Um, so the next two things that I wanna share with you, I actually had a gift card to a local store that we had in my town. Um, it's like a boutique, but they also carry home decor. And so I needed to spend that because I got that gift card for Christmas and I had not used it yet. So I wanna share with you, I only picked up two things. Um, my gift card was for $25, so, um, I picked up a few things and they have some really beautiful home decor in there, but it's expensive. So there were definitely some candle holders and things that I liked, but one candle holder was like over $40 and I just was not paying that. So I just stuck in my price range of my gift card and these are the two things that I picked up. This is called um, a goblet is how they have it labeled on the tag. And it's just this pretty white chippy color. And um, I could do different things with this, but I bought this little wreath in, with the purpose of planning to sit it on top of there. And it's just a boxwood wreath. I almost bought like a little greenery pick to stick in there, but they were like $20. So I just wasn't going to pay that price for a little pick. Um, so I just kind of played around with this in the store and I thought it'd be cute if I just sat this on top of it. I know, like I said, it's a little wreath or candle ring, um, but I don't really think you can see the brown very much. And my plan is to put this 
somewhere, maybe in my hutch, or um, I might change out my little TV stand furniture piece that I have in my living room. And I thought this would be cute at fall time with like a little pumpkin on top of it, or, you know, like at Easter time with little eggs. So I could just use this seasonally and change how I decorate the top of it. But those are the two things that I picked up, and it was around $26 for both of these. Um, so it's just, that's, that store um, is pretty pricey, but I was able to get those with my gift card. And the next things that I want to share with you, I actually got from one of my aunts. Whenever we were visiting, she asked me if I used dough bowls, and I said, yes, ma'am. I love dough bowls. So she said, well, I have one I'm not going to use. I want you to have it. So she gifted me this, and it is so nice. Um, and it's unlike any of the other ones I have. Most of mine, are, you know, are longer. So this is a different shape. It's like a circle shape. Um, but I thought it was so cute. And I can just imagine this filled with pumpkins at fall time or different ornaments at Christmas displayed in my hutch or wherever I decide to put it. Um, this would make a pretty table, like centerpiece, if I decided to do something like that. So I thought it was so sweet of her to gift that to me. And she said, well, if you take the dough bowl, you have to take the things that are in it. So I said, okay. Um, and it was filled with different little faux succulents. It came with five um, succulents. So I can definitely find somewhere to put all of those. I'm thinking I might take some of them to school to use as little filler spots on some of my new decor pieces that I have there. Um, but I just thought that was so sweet of her to give me that. And it came, like I said, like that. Um, so I wanted to share that with you as well, because that is a new decor piece that I recently got that I'm going to um, find somewhere to style it because I think it's so cute. Okay, the last things I want to share with you are the new tops that I got, and I ordered three new tops off of an app called Discount Divas, and they are like an online boutique store, and I order off of there sometimes. I haven't ordered in a while. This was the first um, order that I've made in a couple of years, actually, um, but I got an email that they were having a good sale on Zanana, and that it's one of my favorite brands to wear. They Their clothes are like really soft, and um, I just really like them. I have lots of different pieces from this particular brand and I like how they all fit. They have a lot of like neutral style shirts that you can pair with kimonos, which is my plan for some of these. Um, so I just wanted to share those with you and just tell you that if, you know, if you're looking for a good brand of clothes that's really reasonable, this is a good brand. Um, I think all these were less than $20. Maybe one was 22, but I think the other ones were like 15 or 16. So I thought that was a good price. So I just want to share those with you. I got um, the first one is like this mocha color short sleeve shirt and it's a little wrinkle because I just took it out of the bag. It's like this v-neck material and it's really really soft. It's like a real um, buttery type material and I have a couple of different kimonos that I can wear with that. And this next one is a similar style to that. But it's a little bit thicker material. It's more kind of like a t-shirt material but it is this pretty blue color and it has that little seam in the back right there. And it's a v-neck too. Actually, the um, when I'm filming this is right before the 4th of July, so I'm planning to wear this um, to our little family celebration for the 4th of July, because I think it's a pretty color. And then the last one I got is this pretty peachy color. And it's another um, v-neck shirt, but it's like a different material. It's kind of like a silky material and I have um, a couple shirts that are this style and they are some of my favorites. So I was excited to um, get some new tops, especially on sale. It's always good to find things on sale. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this little haul. Like I said, I know it's a little different style video. You have to let me know down in the comments below. Do you like these, you know, just kind of um, informal videos, just kind of impromptu. Let me show you what I have picked up recently. Um, so let me know in the comments if you enjoy these types of videos. I enjoy making them. I feel like it's just, you know, just kind of like sitting down talking to a friend um, about home decor or whatever I'm sharing. So um, I'd love to know if you enjoy them or not. And I'm sorry if you can hear fireworks outside. Like I said, when I'm filming this, it's on July the 3rd. So people are popping fireworks and um, just celebrating the 4th of July. So I hope um, by the time you'll see this, it will already, you know, have passed by the 4th of July. But I hope that you had a great 4th of July with your family. Um, and if you're new, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe and join my channel here on YouTube. And I will see you in the very next one. Bye.